Hey Fox, welcome back. I want to recap first at the start of this video, the last two videos, because also in this video, it's about arrangement or micro arrangement. I don't know how to call it. So here are uh, my recent videos, the last two, right? Replace these plugins in Bit Bitwig. It's about replacing um, Endless Smile and Final Boost, these kind of VST plugins where you can create sweeps at the end of maybe of 16 bars or 32 bars um, to have these kind of transitioning sounds into a drop maybe. And then it's here, efficient clip launcher workflow tips and tricks and so on. Um, it's about my clip launcher workflow, how I use the clip launcher here, uh, some tips and tricks for hotkeys. Now I want to add something to this video. Um, so here in, on the last video, in this video, I showed you basically that I can select here a clip and then I hit tab and then I see basically here my um, note information. I also have here the uh, modulation um, inside and also I can see the device uh, chain down here, right? And the problem was that I needed to use page up, page down to switch to the right or to the current chain of the clip here, right? So there's a trick to that. There's of course in the settings an option here. If you go to settings, then behavior, and then you can see down here, select tracks when selecting clips in clip launcher. So this means if you put a check mark on here, every time you select a clip, the ch device chain changes to this track, right? If you switch this off, like I did in my last video, you can select here all the clips and nothing happens down here, right? You have to switch the track separately from selecting here uh, the clips. So this is important for this workflow, I think. So using this uh, check mark here, selecting clips and clip launcher under settings behavior, it's pretty nice actually to use. So you just select your clip and then it selects automatically uh, also the track. Sometimes it's not uh, it's actually a bad workflow. I, I know I don't know which circumstance, but sometimes you don't want, want to do that. But for editing here, all the uh, clips in the clip launcher, it's pretty nice to have. Just a tap, have everything notes related in here. Also automation down here and the device chain on here. So it's a nice overview actually. Okay, this is what I wanted to add basically to, to this chips and tricks video. I also put a, um, a comment under this video and um, yeah, pinned the comment basically to tell you exactly that. So the information is also in here under this video in the comments. Um, then also here about this uh, final boost and endless smile. It's basically about arrangement in the clip launcher. Also using the clip launcher here with the um, automation in here, it's also about arrangement. It's about micro arrangement. You create an arrangement in the clip launcher before you even start to arrange in the main arranger, right? And I know that a lot of people have problems with arrangements. So I thought or think about creating easy arrangement um, workflows for these kind of people and as for, also for me because I'm super lazy. And I want to give you in this video some ideas what you can try out to do. So first to get you into the right mindset for this. Um, in some of the last or recent updates of Bitwig Studio, we got these uh, operators um, in here. So let's say you have this one bar loop here, right? So there are um, two chords in there. And this one bar loop is pretty short. But with the operators, when you select, for instance, here, these notes, you can say down in the uh, inspector here, you can say, I want to on, only want to play these uh, three notes here on the first iteration and on the last iteration of three iterations, right? So basically with this operator, you extend the life or the life cycle of this clip to three bars, even though you have only one bar looping here, right? So it's about extending the loop time or the loop information of this clip or to make more out of the f out, out of this clip uh, than there is, right? So this is the mindset to make more out of a clip than there actually is. Um, so with this mindset, you can use now the global modulators for that. So let's say you have this 
beat running here or this track running and you can see it's just a it's just a loop right we have only here one bar loop and this is even shorter it's a it's a quarter note i think that's looping here and this is also one bar yeah that's also a quarter loop or yeah it's a quarter loop um so there's not much to it and the most interesting thing that happens over time is basically this generative patch here I also created in some of my recent videos but there is so much step sequencing here going on changing this loop over time it sounds like the loop is much longer than it actually is right so the modulation brings in a lot of quality or a lot of interesting things over time to extend this loop to make this even longer so in some way this is kind of a micro arrangement right because it makes it interesting to listen to this one bar loop for much much longer and this is probably also what what's all about or what what arrangement is to make actually make the listener keep listening to the track because something happens all the time um so with this mindset we can now attach a lot of things to the global modulator panel and the the thing about this is i'm staying pretty generic so i say i want to have a curve curve modulator on here pull this up and just reset the curve do this and then i go here to a bar right so i have one bar so now this cycle here is just one bar i also switch to um unipolar mode and i have now these uh, segments here or these um, subdivisions and because this is one bar we know exactly here this is uh, one fourth note and so on right um, so we can say i want to have only the last uh, fourth note here i want to have this riser in there right so I can do something with this. It's, it stays complete. Oh, I have to uh, switch this here to sync or to groove. I go to groove. So now it stays completely in sync with the, um, the track itself, with the BPM and also with the arrangement itself. So now you can do something at the end of every bar. You can rise something, right? So we can go here to the polysynth maybe and say I want to open up here the filter a little bit, just a tad. We can also call this here maybe one bar loop. Can duplicate this here and say this is let's say four bars right so we type in four bars so now we have here let's go to four so this is one bar now here maybe go eight so now we can do something at the end of four bars right this is kind of a micro arrange arrangement already so you can bring in here things maybe the hi-hat here open the hi-hat bring this up So you bring in basically a four bar curve or modulator loop here and even though this is only one bar or looping one bar this modulator is much much longer four bars so we extend the loop the loop time of this small little one bar loop here or maybe we also bring out uh, bring in here the mix of that Maybe the kick here, do we have here? Maybe a delay. Okay, and we can also do something like eight bars. something should happen at the end of eight bars and if you actually fear that you yeah add up on top of these modulations so let's say you modulate here the same thing for mix for eight bar and four bar 
then at some point four bra and eight bar basically add up in modulation value you can do things like um let's say here let's see here eight bars modulating four bars modulating and then you modulate the mix basically the, double the amount so this can be a problem sometimes so what i do in these cases um i just use eight bar i pull down here the modulation amount of the four bar and with four bar i am modulating the amount of one bar so they don't add up over time when they occur at the same time right so this this way eight bar is only modulating alone and killing basically everything that four bar does in this occasion i hope this makes sense for you so now when we get here to the end it's now modulating the mix but only eight bars modulating the mix as you can see four bars basically disabled because we pull down here the modulation amount so now we have eight bar loop basically and we can also extend this here to 16 bars of course 16 bars so now again we pull down eight bar here 100 right and now we can bring in here something at the end maybe maybe a chain and this is also a solution I want to give you. Um, let's say you want to try out what happens when 16 bar here brings in the modulation value, right? You, you have to wait until the dot is basically at the end and brings in the modulation value. What I do then is using just a macro here, using 16 bar to modulate this, this macro knob here, calls also 16 bar. But now I can dial in here manually modulation value and can try it out so here I want to modulate the chain in here I create a phaser let's make this a bit slower yeah let's bring this here to uh, manual mode barber and then use the modulation value here to bring this up limiter here to bring up the bring up the volume and maybe an EQ1 switch this on we need to bring up here the volume a bit Maybe a bit of blur here. Yeah? Let's see how the frequency shifter sounds. I think we have to bring up here the volume more. Right, so now we can try basically out here what we do and then we pull this back and then leave it up to the curves here to modulate 16 bar. Right, so we can create kind of these risers here every 16 bars. riser okay so 
can do this here basically to create a kind of a micro arrangement so you don't have to do that much anymore at the end in the arranger window. And if you save this here as a preset or not as a preset, as a template, if you basically create an empty project, attach here one bar, four bar, eight bar, 16 bar, and maybe also uh, 32 bars, um, if you want to go longer, right? Um, then you can save this as a template. Save as template. And then every time you create a new track where you know you want to stay in the clip launcher as long as possible, and um, you are lazy with arrangement and stuff like this, right? You can load up this template then. You have all your uh, global modulators ready and all you have to do is create tracks, go to the track, pull up the, the project panel here and then modulate all the things on these devices. So the core idea of this is basically to extend the lifetime of the clips in the clip launcher. Um, to make more out of uh, these one bar loops, right, with modulators, having these modulators already in place on the project, maybe with the template, and then making your life a bit easier with the arrangement instead of, you know, drawing everything into the arranger here. So the heavy lifting is done via the modulators. This is some kind of inspiration I want to give you. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up and I see you in the next video. Bye.